As we mark the first day of Black History Month, we hear from a woman making history herself in New York Harbor, keeping us safe while blazing new trails. You know, if this is your office, this isn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. This office is better known as Sector New York, the largest Coast Guard field command on the East Coast. And we're on board a 45-foot response boat with the boss, the commander here, U.S. Coast Guard Captain Zeta Merchant. Um, just to be in this position is uh, just a historic for me and historic for the Coast Guard. Just being the first minority to be the uh, captain of the port of New York, it's, uh, it's humbling. Not to mention challenging. Heck and exhilarating. There's a lot of intelligence that's coming into this room. The safety and security demands of the third largest port in the country are relentless. To New York being the number one terrorist target, we have camera systems all across the port. At one of the nation's most strategically important port complexes, 80% of goods coming into the port of New York has to come through this waterway. Where the Coast Guard keeps watch over hundreds of billions of dollars in cargo and tens of millions of passengers each year. Has cyber risen to the top of the threats that you think you face right now? Uh, yes. In 2020, it was reported that cyber threats in the maritime community had increased over 400%. Give me a big picture here, the sector of New York. So sector New York uh, consists of a little over 900 people uh, and a lot of subunits. Our area responsibility is 11,000 square miles, and that consists over 10 million people. We have station, stations that are at S Sandy Hook, down in New Jersey all the way up to uh, Kings Point. What's the likelihood that a little girl who grows up in Jackson, Mississippi, <laughs> what's the likelihood that she would end up right here? I would say zero or one percent. It was a chance meeting with a recruiter at tiny Togaloo College in Mississippi that changed the course of Captain Merchant's life. What'd your family say? You go home and say, I'm going to join the Coast Guard. <laughs> well, how did that go? I knew I was applying for this scholarship program. I was going to get my tuition paid. I was going to have a guaranteed job after college. So at the end of the day, that's really the only thing my mom cared about. I grew up in Mississippi. I was born in Chicago. There was seven of us in a two-bedroom apartment in Chicago and in an area that was, um, wasn't the best. Okay. They are my role models. They inspire me every day to continue to make them proud. When Captain Merchant began her career in the Coast Guard in 1997, she says there were few role models who looked like her. But there was one standout, Dr. Olivia Hooker. She was the first African-American woman to join the Coast Guard. And that was in World War II. And I had an opportunity to meet her when I was three, three years in the Coast Guard. Uh, and she stayed a mentor to me all the way up until her death. So as the captain and stood on the shoulders of those who came before her, she says she recognizes her responsibility as a role model to others. When young kids, little girls see you, little boys too, when they see you and the reaction they give you, what's that like? You know, you can't even put into words the impact that you have and what people see when they see you. And, um, and I try always to connect and make time to have have conversations with them when I'm out in public. It is hard not to get caught up in Lady Liberty. When I promoted to captain, I did it here at the Statue of Liberty. To only be the second woman and the first minority to be the captain of the port in New York, and I'm uh, empowered and inspired by it every day. It reminds me about where I am and the impact that I can make. And Captain Merchant got her master's and Ph.D. from George Washington University and has done fellowships at Harvard and MIT. When I asked her what comes next for her, she only said you never know. <laughs> Coast Guard reports to the Department of Homeland Security in peacetime and the Navy during wartime. It seems there are many opportunities for her to continue blazing that trail. Is her personality as vibrant in person as it comes across on TV? The real deal. I mean, my goodness. The real deal. There's a real nice bit of symmetry there. Dr. Hooker, who you met in the piece, mm -hmm. there's a building named after her on the New York headquarters there of the Coast Guard, and Captain Merchant gets to be there, gets to walk through that building every day. Amazing. It's pretty, pretty cool, as it turns out. I still can't get over her last name. <laughs> I know. It fits, right? It does. How'd that work out?